atoms are incredibly tiny, obviously. But the things that make them, protons, neutrons and electrons, are far tinier still. If an atom was blown up to be the size of a football stadium, its nucleus would be about the size of a peanut. Let me explain. If I was to ask you to sit down and draw an atom right now, you'd probably come up with something like this. It's an example of the Bohr model, often called the planetary model, since it looks a bit like a mini version of the solar system. The atom's nucleus, which is made of protons and neutrons, is like the sun. And the electrons orbit it like planets. Despite being developed over a hundred years ago by Danish physicist Niels Bohr, the planetary model is probably the most widely taught representation of an atom in schools across the world, even today. But in truth, the model actually has some fairly major drawbacks. For one thing, the scale is miles off, although to be fair, we can't really blame Niels Bohr for that. It's pretty much impossible to represent an atom on a single piece of paper, for the simple reason that no page is ever going to be big enough. 